Hey, welcome to Rod Bro Gamer channel. And today's video will be comparing two microphones, the HyperX Quadcast and the Elgato Wave 3. Which one sounds better with the OBS plugins? Which one is better for streaming? Each, which one is better for podcast? We're gonna take a look right after this. All right, so let's go and start, take a look really quick about the microphones from outside from the static point and uh, let's see what they uh, offer from as a microphone besides the sound that we're gonna take a look. So the Hyper uh, quite Quadcast, uh, the highlights of this microphone is uh, you have uh, the anti-vibration shock mount around the microphone. It's really pretty good for that uh, if you put it on the table. Uh, it helps a little bit with the with the movement and also building headphone jack on the back. A tap to mute sensor with LED indicator right in the top of the microphone. So you can just tap when you need to mute and when you do that, the LED just disappears. So when the LED goes red, it will be on. Very cool feature on this microphone. Uh, the four selectable polar patterns. This microphone have a four different polar patterns that means that you can use this microphone for a stereo uh, situation when somebody's in the front of the microphone and the back of the microphone uh, or only capture the the part of the microphone is very good for also streamers the mount adapter include on this microphone a convenient gain control adjustment in the bottom so you can control your gain of your microphone anytime you need it right here on the bottom of the microphone. Overall, the quality of this microphone from outside standpoint is very good and very solid as well. Now let's take a look on the Elgato Wave 3 microphone. From the outside standpoint, this microphone is very uh, discreet, means that it's all black, so it's nothing really that actually, uh, you know, it's no LGB or anything. Back of the microphone, you have a USB-C uh, connection for the power, and uh, it also headphone for uh, your feedback. Uh, in the front of the microphone, you have um, three different toggles over here that's a little that's a, uh, a around a uh, button right here. They can uh, lower or higher. And those three little things there is the to tweak your input gain uh, and also to adjust the headphone volume. And the third one is to crossfade between mic and PC mix. So, and also at the top of this microphone have uh, the same kind of similar thing that the Quadcast have, which is the mute button when you just press the mute button it goes red to uh, mute and when you press again it goes white or you know so we can um, talk as well so very nice microphone as well from outside let's go ahead and take a look on the quality of the bolt microphone on obs studio all right so one thing that i forgot to mention between those two uh, microphones uh, really quick is the software that come with the wave 3 from elgato is a really really good software if you want to stream and actually um, divide your sounds uh, to the viewer and yourself right here on the screen i have the wave link that come with is a free software come with the microphone and you over, over here you can edit uh the voice chat right here if you wanna for the discord or you can uh your background music right here you wanna to if you wanna put the background music and over here is what this first right here monitor mix is what you listen for yourself the how you want it for yourself which is right here and it's right here for the stream so it's a very good tool that the quadcast do not have it so i just want to mention this as well um so yes yeah, so let's go ahead and i'll go to the obs and uh, check it out the difference between those two microphones all right so we're here in obs studio and we're going to be comparing right now the two microphones and uh, i'm going to be using right now i'm going i'm not using any plugins this is the sound from the quadcast when you bought and when you actually pl plug it in on uh, obs so no plugins at all on this microphone um i'm using basically not too many gain as well so 
this is the sound how is on the the quadcast i'm gonna switch real quick now to the wave uh three now this is the wave three and uh, also in Oplo games rod and the way you bought it and uh, i'm trying to hold myself on the microphone because i don't have a, the, the, another uh boom arm for the microphone so i'm trying to actually use at the same uh, distance so you can have an idea so i'm gonna switch back to the quadcast all right switch back to the quadcast i'm gonna use now the plugins that I actually i install and i use to my personal stream if you want to know how to uh, install those plugins, I'm going to put a uh, video up here on the video up there. So you can click and also in the end of this video if you want to check it out. I'm going to go ahead now on the OBS Studio. We're going to go over here. Uh, I already put those two microphones right there. Uh, and I'm going to start with the quadcast. Uh, right click on the filters. And this is the filters right here. From um, It's from uh, SleekQ. Noise suppression, Nova, Kotelnikov, wider, spender, and limit. This is all my setup for my stream. Uh, those two right here is just effects. This as well. And this is I also I would leave it on because I uh, you know if uh, with voice meter you can actually you know send the audio to another computer. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna turn all all this uh, all this uh, these plugins right here. And then we're gonna turn in all the plugins in Wave 3, and then we're gonna compare which one sounds uh, better. Uh, it could be better for you, and uh, but uh, uh, it could be better be better for you, and we depending on the microphone. So let's take a look. So right now we're gonna uh, turn on the sleek cue. Now with the sleek cue on, and we're gonna turn on now the noise suppression. Noise suppression on right now. The Nova. Nova is on right now and Katalnikov is on right now and the wider plugin is on the wider plugin is on now the expander is on and now the limiter is on so all this is uh the the plugins that I use it if you want to know exactly uh which one look like um the you know I'll set up this plugin just check in the video as well now I'm gonna go ahead and uh go to the wave three this is how it sound the microphone when i use for streaming and also for the youtube videos so i'm gonna switch now to a wave three all right so wave three right now is the raw sound from wave three and now i'm gonna go ahead and click to the filters as you see all the filters are the same i also copy every single value from the filters from quadcast so we kind of know uh the really difference with that setting is exactly the quadcast so it's always so the only difference is going to be about the microphone um how it sounds so um so we're going to turn on sleek cue right now with the sleek cue uh, i'm going to turn on right now the noise suppression noise suppression is on i'm going to turn on the nova the nova plugin the kotelnikov suppression is on right now now I'm gonna turn on the wider. The wider plugin is on right now. Uh, the spender plugin is on right now, and the limiter plugin is also on right now. So this this right now is the Elgato Wave 3 mic that sounds with all the plugins that I use in my quadcast. Um, now I'm gonna turn that off, and I'm going to turn on the uh, way, uh, the HyperX. HyperX on right now. This is all the micro, the all the plugins on it that I stream. All right, so this is the comparison between those two microphones. In my uh, opinion, those are great microphones. Hope this video actually help you to actually, uh, if you in decided to acquire either or, they are great microphones as well. So if you like this video, more content, and you are not subscribed, you go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more contents like this. And I'll see you guys on the next video.